Hello indie fans and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're looking at The White Chamber by Studio Trophis. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a atmospheric horror puzzle exploration game. Uh, and aside from pretty much just that, I don't know much about it. It's uh, pretty much a new one to me. Uh, I am aware that you are apparently a girl who wakes up in a neon coffin in a dark room and then has to figure out what's going on. So that seems like a pretty cool concept to me. I mean, it seems right up my alley anyway. I'm not sure how horror-y it's going to get, but we will find out. Maybe we're treated to a nice opening cutscene here, which I am uh, talking over, as I always do. I am aware that that is one of those uh, awful things, like the, the seven deadly sins of Let's Playing, but I consider this something slightly different than a Let's Play series, so uh, I don't really think it's that big of a deal. Alright, first impression, she looks like she's from Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, no offense intended to Yu-Gi-Oh fans, just making that observation. What's going on? Alright, so that was cool, nice little introduction. Uh, the art style of her jacket is also sort of reminding me a little bit of Guilty Gear. Alright, so what do we have here? So there's a click and move around type. Uh, let's take a look at this coffin. Can we inspect? Yes. That's and I woke up in. Why was I in there? So, uh, for a free indie game, I'm pretty surprised to hear that it has full vo voice work, and so far it doesn't sound horrible. Uh, that's always a positive thing. It even has, sounds like, appropriate footstep sounds for her walking around on the ground. Uh, very contrasty art style on her, which seems like it's a little bit harsher than the setting around, but let's, uh, keep looking. There's a message on the panel. Connection error. All right. Well, this will make it a little easier for me to, to uh, concentrate on the point of what we're doing, since she's actually going to read it out to me instead of me having to do all the reading for once. Uh, let's figure out how to leave. Hey, uh, what can we do with this? Oh, what is this? It's a menu? Oh, I guess that's where my inventory would show up if I were to mouse up there. All right, so the panel doesn't seem to work. Uh, wires is apparently something I can select, so let's take a look at the wires. The wires look like they're not connected properly. Alright, uh, that's kind of what I figured. There. Yeah, that's I connected the wires together. Pretty tricky. Uh, I, I'm not a huge fan of point-and-click adventure games. I've played a few in my day, uh, like King's Quest and stuff, and I, I think they're okay, but a lot of them feel like so much trial and error. Uh, so I'm not... The panel seems to be working now. Okay, good. I'm not, like, gonna probably be excellent at this. Probably better than most puzzle games, maybe. Um, do I know where I- of course I don't. What the oh. Hell is going on? I'm in space. Well, you may not be in space. I mean, people have invented things that can fool the eye like that. Um, what is that logo on her back? It says spirit or something? I guess I'll look out the window. This is definitely space, but I can't see any signs of other ships or anything. Okay, so so immediately we're thrust into that question of is space a normal thing for her or is this like she should be completely taken back by the fact that there's space outside? Is, are we in the future? Well, we don't know any of these things yet, so let's keep going. The windows are totally solid. Besides, if I broke Damn. them, I'd be sucked out into space. If that's actually space, which we still haven't exactly established, it could be a series of monitors projecting something that looks like space. But then again, if it's like has depth and stuff, maybe you can tell, I don't know. Could be in the future, maybe they have better technology for that. Uh, so, can I do anything else with this panel? Do you regret? Apparently I do, because I'm here. Uh, so this game apparently has eight endings, and a bunch of easter eggs, which I think is super awesome, because I do like uh, when you can actually shape your own path a little bit. The panel seems to be working now. One more of that. Are you ready? Uh, yes, because if I say no, like that might out. be really boring. Alright, so we've got a door. I'm actually kind of digging the way that this interface works. It seems pretty simple. Uh, but we haven't introduced inventory items yet, so who knows, things could get messy when that happens. Oh, okay, so this is kind of creepy. Uh, nice ambience as far as the uh, tones and the, the, you know, the atmosphere and the overtones and the music go. Uh, seems like it's setting a nice... I said ambience a few times already, but you know what I mean. This is apparently a console. This looks like where you would, like, throw 
the lobsters to get sorted and then put in the tank. Um, what can I do it when I touch it? Doesn't seem to be working at the moment. I'll need to find some way to power it up. The art on her uh, portrait that pops up on the dialog boxes is very nice. It seems to be some kind of navigation console. It must control the station somehow. Good to know. Okay, so she doesn't seem to be too phased by all of this. It doesn't seem to have any power. I don't know, if I woke up in a neon coffin in space... I'm sure this controls some sort of cradle system that elevates part of the station. Why do I know that? Okay, well, alright, so she's on board then. She doesn't know why she knows that either, because I was going to say, if I woke up in space in a neon coffin in a dark room that's locked, um, I would be seriously thinking over the things that I did in the last few days, uh, sort of like the Hangover movies or something. Alright, so I see waiting, waiting, error, waiting on these circuits or whatever, these are backup power units. Um, doing the usual hunt and peck thing with the mouse cursor. Uh, anyone who's played a number of these types of games knows that the way you get through them is you just mouse over every conceivable surface until something changes. So left computer's interactable, right computer's interactable. Uh, anything over here doesn't look like it. Let's keep walking, keep searching. And you just scan, look for pixels that are different. I don't know where I just went. I'm like, oh, okay, it's, it's really dark. I can't really see anything. Um, doesn't seem to be anything over here. So it's apparently up to those two computers. Uh, in the graphics for this, like in the sampler art stuff, there, there were it's a communication lots of problem. hands coming at me. So I don't know. Not working. I guess there's no power. Yeah, okay, well I could have pieced those things together. I've played, uh, Super Metroid. I know that probably Fantoon's behind this, and he sapped all the power away from the station, and he's using it for greedy things. Um, okay, well, I can't seem to walk past this thing of wires. Oh, I can go around it, okay. It looks like a unit designed to provide backup power to certain systems. Well, I could have told you that. Well, this one has a, a freaking hole in it, so... Alright, comms, medical, docking, cradle, station, rotation, life support. I'm glad to hear life support's doing good, that's nice. So if I, like, click on this, will I just die? It's blank, unlike the slots in the other modules. Curious. Alright, so most of these things I can't actually right-click on. It looks like a slot for some kind of key. I guess life support doesn't require a key, that's probably good. This thing is all off. I'm just right-clicking on everything in case I can interact with it. So only these keys can I really mess with. Uh, and it doesn't look like I can do anything else. So I, I guess that's really all there is to that. When it comes to these point-and-click adventures, I feel like there's a lot of ways that people can approach them, and a lot of ways that are extremely, like, outdated and really inefficient and kind of counterintuitive to the player. Uh, this seems like a decent one so far. What are those stains on the floor? On the wall, too. They look like blood. Nah, they're just transmission fluid, probably, right? I doubt blood would happen in a video game. Look, more of it. It's everywhere. They must have just been working on cars in here, right? Scanner. Darkly. It's an ID card scanner for the gate. All right, well... I'll need to use an ID card I, with it. Well, I assume that. She does have a nice voice. I, I do like the voice acting so far. No qualms with that. Uh, so I can look at stuff. Really oh, she anymore. can't see it. Okay. I can see it. She can't see it. I have a better viewpoint, I guess. So there doesn't seem to be much going on in this room. Uh, there is a lab coat. Maybe the ID card's in that. A soiled lab coat. Oh, it looks well. like there's something in the pocket. That seems kind of convenient, doesn't it? Blank ID card and some kind of override uh, key in the pocket. Override key. Well, let's try the blank ID card first. Um, it's an ID card scanner for Yeah, I know. Let's see how we interact with stuff. So there's the override key, there's the ID card. It didn't work. It didn't work. Looks like this card isn't encoded with an authorized DNA sample. Obviously. Well, I'm glad she can jump to those conclusions, uh, which means that she has some sort of for knowledge of all of this, uh, more than I do anyway, because I wouldn't necessarily assume that an ID card is encoded with DNA. 
maybe I'm just naive. I mean, these times we live in, they're complicated. Maybe I've passed up some very important information. But I, I don't think I've ever had to, aside from like hotel rooms, I've never really had to like use ID it cards like on things other than my driver's license too. I know about that. Let's, I, I clicked the wrong thing actually. Let's use this override key on, I'm guessing this one. Yeah. Cool. You got power. Yo. Check it out. Uh, let's look. It's marked as being a droid control console. Droid console. Is this the iOS one? It's a communications console. Apparently not. All right, let's communicate. Um, really hoping this isn't going to be a long reading sequence because like someone was trying to send out an SOS message, but it wasn't transmitted. Those are the worst. The necromorphs have taken. Oh! To this, there's a note somewhere to unlock the droid software. Did you get the droid I sent you last week? I'm a little worried I didn't pack it tightly enough for the long haul. Text is kind of small, maybe it's just my eyes or something. Uh, yeah, this won't be a situation for you guys, it's gonna be blown up for the video, but for me it's a little small. Uh, it came through alright, it seems to be working fine. I did have a fright when I loaded the software to our system and asked for a color, for color code. Then I found your note, so it's all good. Happy face, yay! I'll send on- this hand is weird looking, isn't it? It's like, got a lot of stuff around it, it's like, chunks coming off or something, I don't know what it is. Uh, I'll send on some cool add-ons when they come through, welding, fire suppression, toast making, that's a handy one. Uh, tongue face. For now, I guess it's just, uh, your own little pet to piss off the commander with. Okay. Last chance for cheap this Nicole Ash tickets. Emotional spam for some concert. Spam's great, it probably will have all the best hints though in it. The message is asking for information about a missing ship. Uh, science vessel Prometheus. What are you doing, Prometheus? On a s ah, fine. It's scheduled rendezvous, and it's been over three weeks since computer lost. Uh, yeah, it's the event horizon, isn't it? Looks like someone was trying to send out an SOS. Yeah, I didn't message. really read this. Uh, this doesn't scroll. Okay, so this is all there is. Uh, send extraction team immediately. We're dying here. I don't know what's going on, but those of us left here. Well, Last much longer. So, probably zombies, I'm gonna just assume. Uh, let's check out this computer, the droid one. See if we can get the droid to, like, open our door for us or something. Oh, I don't... Have that? Do I... Did it say that? I know we mentioned it in the email. Did it actually contain that? Um... According to this, there's a note somewhere to unlock the droid software. Where's the note? What note? Do I have that? I don't think I have the note. Can I look at the ID it's card? An ID card for use. I know. Can I? No, I can't. Um, crap. Now, if I know how this works, uh, having done a few of these videos by now, uh, this will be the moment when I realized that I did something really dumb and just passed over... I'm sure this controls some sort of cradle system that I Passed over the ID, uh, or the color code. It doesn't seem to... Um... With that in mind, however, I'm still going to go in here and double check for things that may have changed. I don't think anything has changed, honestly, but I'm just checking. This panel... The panel seems... Maybe this panel can take my the ID card. Already seems to... It served its purpose. I use these. No, I know you can't. Put it back. Alright, so clearly this color code's gotta be in this room because there's nothing else really to do. Message is asking for information. This just looks like promotional spam for some concert. According to this, there's a note somewhere to unlock the droid software. Right. Okay, that's that's what I'm after. Where is that? I saw your note. Where is your is your note over on the left somewhere that I didn't see it? Maybe I had to find out there was such a thing before it would show up and let me mouse click over it. Uh, no, 
transformation of cursor. Not so far, anyway. See, I always thought this was kind of an iffy thing, as far as a gameplay mechanic, like pixel hunting and stuff. I get it when you have full control over the camera, and when you can see everything really clearly, but, like, most of the time, at least in my experience, like, a, a lot of the time, uh, it seems like you're kind of just hunting around for stuff in the dark, or you can't... You can't understand the correlation between two objects, various things like that. Um, I, I'm expecting that there is going to be a small degree of that in this game, although I could be wrong. I mean, I, I feel like this was already one of those instances, but I don't know, I haven't found the note yet. Maybe it's super obvious and I'm just sitting on it and I don't see it. Uh, even still, I need a note. I don't know where it is. Marked as being a uh, trivial pursuit. Okay, so let's do yellow, green, red, white, white, blue. I don't think I got it right. Um, get note. How about that? Can we pull attachment from the email? Do we have one of those? According to this, there's a note somewhere to unlock the somewhere. software. Somewhere. Somewhere is not good enough. Give me location. Alright, let's go back to the room where I found the key card. Maybe there's something in there worth seeing. Or maybe the note is... Maybe the note's on the console. Isn't this... It doesn't, it doesn't have power. Why am I looking there? That's a dumb thing to do. I'm honestly not that easily discouraged by this type of thing. This is actually not a big deal at all to me. I just, uh... I get a little frustrated with it. just because I want to show off it's an ID card scanner for the gate. compelling parts of the gameplay, and when the game wants to, like, hide stuff, it diminishes my ability to show the game well. Uh, I mean, granted, I could get around that by, like, playing it early, and, and but then I wouldn't have first impressions. I mean, this has come up a couple of times, like, this is essentially just a first impression show. I, I mean, I talk about games as I play them uh, almost, like, 80% of the time I do it on my first time through. Sometimes I play it for about five minutes to get a, a sense of the recording, uh, make sure everything works, test it out. Well, I always do a test uh, setup, but I usually try and do it on the main menu. Some games, though, you gotta kinda jump into the game a little bit to make sure the audio levels are going to come out okay and that the actual animation of the game runs properly when you're recording. Because there's no guarantee of that unless you actually just do it. Uh, and, you know, there's always surprises. Maybe the volume level jacks up 20% once you're 10 minutes into the game and then I won't know until it happens. But I still try and test for what I can. But regardless, the point of me saying this is just that this is a first impression show and I'm not here to, to show off. I'm not here to command mastery over the game, I am just here to talk about it, and give you guys an idea of maybe if it's something you'd like to play or not. I'm aware of what that console is, I don't know why I keep clicking on the eye instead. Is there just a note, like, somewhere really obvious? I'm trying to look carefully here. Looks like someone was trying to send out an SOS message. I can't, like, scroll this, right? The message is asking for information about a missing ship. So the messages are numbered, I guess that's something. This just looks like promotional spam for some concert. I mean, is that... Is that the key? Like, blue, pink, red, pink, black? Blue, pink, red, pink, black? Is that... are those even options? I don't know. Blue, pink, red, pink... There's no black. And that's more than I have an option to do. Yup. White, white. Well, 
Well, I guess I will make a cut when I can find this note. Or, uh, come back, rather, when I find the note, and then I will let you know. Okay, well, I feel a little bit dumb. Um, this is kind of obvious, but I just wasn't really thinking about it when I was doing it. But apparently I can move these keys around. So let's move this over to the medical bay and check that out. I'll need to use it seems pretty sturdy does seem pretty this sturdy stopping me from getting in that it is and that's not encoded with the proper stuff so I guess that's not a thing I was just hoping that this was that there's a pretty big like slot right here you'd think maybe you could do something with that who knows I guess this is not our intended destination. Uh, maybe this can be activated now. It doesn't seem to be working at the moment. No. And this one, I'm sure, it won't either. Okay. Back through. Trial and error. Okay, take the key. Let's put it in the station rotation slot. Uh, life support doesn't have a slot, so this is the last option. Uh, I'm not sure what we're powering up by doing that, but we're going to take a look anyway. Apparently it's this. Cool. Uh, on, off, on. So we're looking for a note here, maybe. I can rotate the station left or right. Why I want to do that, not quite sure. Um, rotate, 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 rotate. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so our station just kind of dumb and decided that we were going to actually just point this way. Uh, because we don't want power for some reason, so perfect. I just took care of that. And now we have it. So what is sure this? Control some sort of cradle system. That cradle Elvis system. Is part of the station. Why do I know that? Right, she said that already. Safety lock engaged. Disengage. Got nothing. All right. Uh, safety lock. Offline. Perfect. Lower cradle. Hell yes. Cradle lowered. Uh, this door now perhaps inoperable. Where does this go? Okay. Pretty filthy, grungy place we got over here. It's just like the hot tub and sauna area. What is this? Could definitely use a nice hose down. This should control the table. I agree. Oh, perfect. I always wanted a table. Video screen. It won't do anything without a video disc. Oh, obviously, why didn't I think of that? It's a console for viewing video. Well, now I know. Can I use these forks for anything? No. Uh, nothing in the foreground. This is... It says sealed. There's a lot of stuff that looks like I can interact with it. It's good to have a new places to go, though. That is a very large... Fi that is bigger than that person. Uh, yeah, it's like her torso and then some. So, I'll just absorb it into my body. That's another trope of adventure games. They uh, tend to give you way too many items that you shouldn't be able to carry. Oh, things don't look so good in here. Dr. Salt. That's funny. If I understand correctly, it's a fizzy drink. You do. Take. I'm sure I can put that to good use. A strong metal box. It looks sealed. Looks like a lunchbox, lady. Do you not know how lunch works? This food stinks. It's all gone moldy. Moldy. This food stinks. Okay. All of it? It's a sealed lunchbox. Are those grapes inside? No. I actually hear a heart beating, so I'm going to assume they're actually probably alien larvae. Use junk food wrappers. They're covered in dirt. Man, it's really gross here. I don't want to live on the space station anymore.
You'd think with, like, the blood and the dirt and, like, the absence of people and the mystery and all the stuff that's going on, she'd probably be a little bit more concerned and or cautious in her dialogue delivery. Um, I mean, I guess she sounds a little bit, like, her ears are perked up, but at the same time it kind of sounds like, well, we could just be like checking out her room back at home. Well, I'm gonna need video discs. Yeah. An axe. Someone has jammed an axe in the lift control panel. Why would they do such a thing? An elevator is good to know about. What's the scope for? Can I get my uh, plasma cutter yet? I recognize this. It's a seven oh, seven the old seven thousand seven hundred seventy-seven Zetrandi or whatever. It's a classic. Tools. Give me tools. Give me a crowbar. Selection give me a wrench. Bloody and rusted lab instruments. I believe there is a rogue AI hunting us. To the surface. I doubt they'd be of much use in that state anyway. I believe there'd be a lot of use to bludgeon things with. Even if they fall apart, you still get a hit in. So what do I have in my inventory now? I've got an axe, uh, which I've apparently taken away from whatever it was blocking, which is probably really dumb. People block things for reasons, lady. We've got a steel box. A steel box that seems to be welded, welded shut. shut. So maybe it's not just your regular old lunch box. Maybe there's actually like a uh, you know, disembodied shut, so evil ancient through. alien in there. Or the, the disembodied head of an evil ancient alien, I should say. Uh, can I take this elevator up? Because that is... No, it's broken. Panel's been smashed, uh, so whoever did that didn't want people messing around with it. Can I do anything with this speaker? It's a speaker. I remember having speakers like this when I was a kid. Cool. You're such a freaking hipster, lady. Get over it. Um... How about this blackboard? It's got two lines and some brackets on it. There are some strange chalk marks on the board. It's uh, an ancient omen. I don't want to wipe away the chalk markings. I think they mean something. I agree. Yeah, I I wouldn't wipe them away either. Uh, can I take this door? It's welded shut. Right, welded. All right. So we have found a room full of stuff that's potentially useful, but yet none of it is useful at all. So let's leave. Uh, how do I do such a thing? Oh yeah, door is over here. Got something knocking around, clanging over there in the background. You can hear it. Uh, this cupboard open. The other one did. It's just a. Yeah, it just is, but it's just oh, got. Shit. Th that's someone's arm. What the hell is going on here? Doesn't look like a very good arm. I mean, no, I mean it looks fine. I mean technically, but I'm saying the uh, color of it. I mean, I guess it's just void of a blood. Video disc. I've never seen a dismembered arm personally, so I'm not sure how what shade of gray or blue they're supposed to be. But yeah, I assume that could probably happen. All right, so we got our video disc. Uh, that was easier than I thought. It's a console. All right, that is the console for viewing such things. I know. Let's put the video disc in it. How about you intuitively know? Oh, lab wow. That android from Dragon Ball Z. Report. I've been here a week, and things haven't been as I expected. His mouth seems to be out of control. Working in the upper lab doing routine sample analysis. It's a waste of my time, but they don't want me to go into the main lab chain. Video disc is very high resolution. I told Commander Artemis Trent that I hadn't traveled all this way to the monkey work, but he wasn't interested. Artemis is such a classic bad guy name. Everyone is keeping to themselves. No one wants to talk much. They're quick to dismiss any Whoa, talk about louder. what happened to my predecessor or what it is they're working on down there. One thing I'm sure of is that they really don't want me here. Only Professor Erickson's remotely hospitable to They're just teaching you how to cook, man, and then you're gonna get replaced. I've seen it happen before. Something is definitely going on here scared of something. I've heard them calling the main lab the White Chamber. I don't know why, since I'm not allowed in there. Goodwin and Wiles hate going anywhere near it. I've seen Goodwin go in a couple of times when they've needed him, but always briefly and reluctantly. I'll keep investigating, but I don't want to push them too hard. The atmosphere around here is tense enough as it is. Believe that. Um... 
This is also kind of reminding me, this is like a totally random tangential thing in my head, but uh, it reminded me of that episode of Adventure Time where they accidentally zombify all of the inhabitants of the Candy Kingdom, and then they have to trap themselves in that, well, at the very end, uh, Finn and Jake, and Jake is trying to outstretch his zombification, and yeah, that whole scene, I don't know why, I guess being trapped in a chamber with zombies or something. I don't know what, it, what is even going on yet, but uh, dismembered arms, blood, scratches everywhere, uh, everything's covered in dirt and mud and rust. That's kind of the direction I see this going in. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I kind of just get that impression. So I, I'm totally digging this game. I mean, I know I've been kind of hard on it with sarcasm and such throughout, but uh, that's just my way of showing it tough love. Uh, so far, I'm intrigued. I kind of want to know more. There is just always that, like, outer carapace of uh, confusion when it comes to the pixel hunting thing. Like, there, it feels like there's this wall of obfuscation between you actually playing the game and understanding and enjoying it, and all that wall is is just the time it takes for you to figure out where you're supposed to click on stuff. So, that's just an inherent criticism I have with this genre in general. If that doesn't bother you and you like this genre a lot, uh, you'll probably get right into this one no problem. And I'm, I'm even somewhat into it, I'm just giving what criticisms I can come up with. Because uh, sometimes I give everybody free passes and that's I'm not doing that anymore. No. I'm just messing around. This is a pretty cool game. Uh, digging it. Totally think you guys should download it. It's free. I'll put the link in the, down, uh, the description like I always do. Give it a shot. Uh, I don't want to go too much further though because I don't want to spoil any crazy cool plot points. And uh, I want to leave the suspense to finding out what's up with the white chamber for you guys uh, to come up with yourselves. Because, you know, spoiling the best parts of the game is something I do a little too much on this show. I want to I wanna mix it up a little bit, do it sometimes, not other times. Uh, I'll stop walking around in circles in this room, and uh, I think we're going to wrap it up for this episode. So this has been The White Chamber, and uh, as always, remember to head on over to the website, which is www.indie-impressions.com. Link is in the description for that as well. Uh, feel free to browse through all of my old episodes. They're sorted by genre and distribution method. Uh, you can also search for devel developers and all that good stuff in there. Uh, check out our forums, meet some cool people, and have a good time. Every single day I upload a new video, so it's going to be up on that uh, site. Then there's also the Facebook page if you'd like to leave a like over there at www.facebook.com slash Indie Impressions. That is going to have Indie Impressions show up in your daily Facebook feed, and then you don't have to come to me, I'm going to come to you. Uh, makes things nice and convenient if you want a little shot of Indie Impressions every day. Uh, then of course you've got my two Twitter handles, at Rockley Smile and at Indie Impressions, uh, or Indie Impression, just with an N at the end. I've been saying this for like almost 200 episodes, and I still put the S on there sometimes. But I'm not sure you will have a problem finding it, since that is also in the description as well. Uh, but if you want to get in contact with me, leave me suggestions, comments, criticisms, uh, recommend games for me to play on the show. At Rockley Smile is your best bet and fastest way to get in contact with me. But I do respond to just about every method, uh, be, it, be it emails, Twitter, uh, PMs on Reddit, uh, DMs, wherever. Uh, you get the idea. So that's going to do it. Make sure you come back again tomorrow, guys. I got another indie game for you. Uh, and as always, uh, you know, it's a good time. So I hope you're here. I'll be here. And I'll meet you then. Have a lovely night, guys. And uh, don't let the zombies get you in space or wherever we are.